Every year, tens of thousands of people around the world lose their lives to encounters with wild animals. From the rivers of Africa to the jungles of Asia, these animals are part of our environment and part of the risks we face when we cross their path. In this video, we count down the top five of most dangerous animals on Earth to humans. If you enjoy stories like this, consider liking the video and subscribing. It helps the channel grow and brings more wild stuff to curious minds like yours. The hippopotamus is the world's deadliest large land mammal. Around 500 people die from hippo encounters each year in Africa. These hulking herbivores look slow and harmless while wallowing in rivers, but they are aggressively territorial. With jaws and canine teeth up to half a meter long, they can snap a small boat in half. In 2014, a hippo in Niger overturned a boat, killing 13 people. Most deaths happen when people venture too close to hippo territory. Hippos spend daylight submerged, fiercely guarding their watery homes, block their path to deep water or approach a mother with a calf and they can charge at 30 km per hour, despite weighing up to 4,000 kg. Their bite force is about 1,800 pounds per square inch, three times stronger than a lion's. Hippos graze at night, sometimes eating up to 40 kilos of grass. They may wander far from water, startling people in fields or villages. Females protect calves without hesitation. Males fight each other for territory and see humans as intruders. In older males, tusk-like canines grow continuously and they're formidable weapons, both in fights with rivals and against threats. Hippopotamuses don't hunt people. Deadly encounters are usually the result of fear, surprise or being blocked from the water. As wetlands shrink and human activity increases, these clashes become more common. In high-risk areas, local people are taught to avoid rivers at dawn and dusk and never place themselves between a hippo and safety. Crocodiles are apex predators of freshwater habitats, killing an estimated 1,000 people each year. Unlike hippos, they hunt for food and humans are on the menu. The Nile crocodile and saltwater crocodile are the main killers. Nile crocs reach four to five meters. Saltwater crocs can exceed six meters and weigh over a ton. A saltwater crocodile's bite is the strongest ever recorded in the animal kingdom, based on actual measurements. Around 3,700 pounds per square inch roughly the force of a 2.5-ton car pressing down on you, which is absolutely insane. They are stealth specialists. With only their eyes and nostrils above the surface, they blend perfectly into their surroundings. When prey approaches, they strike in an instant, dragging it underwater. They kill mainly by drowning, using the infamous death roll to tear their prey apart. Their slow metabolism lets them survive for weeks without food making them patient ambushes. Most human victims are attacked while bathing, fishing or collecting water along riverbanks. In many African villages, women and children are most at risk. In Indonesia and Papua New Guinea, saltwater crocodiles attack fishes in coastal estuaries. Many incidents happen in remote areas. The real death toll is likely higher than reported, with some estimates reaching 3,000 fatalities a year. Crocodiles are opportunistic. They have been recorded killing livestock, dogs and even large wildlife like zebras and buffalo. Large males guard stretches of river and attack any intruder. Females are equally aggressive if a nest is threatened. Prevention includes public awareness, barriers at water access points and relocating problem crocodiles. In Australia, strict management has kept fatalities low. But in poorer regions, people often have no choice but to use crocodile-inhabited waters, keeping the risk high.
Scorpions cause an estimated 2,600 to 3,300 deaths each year. Out of more than 2,700 species, only 25 to 50 have venom potent enough to kill a human. The Indian red scorpion is among the deadliest. In North Africa, fat-tailed scorpions and the yellow death stalker are feared. In Mexico, bark scorpions cause thousands of stings annually, with some regions reporting hundreds of serious cases each month. Scorpions are nocturnal. They hide in rock crevices, under logs or inside homes during the day. Many victims are stung when slipping on shoes or clothing a scorpion has crawled into, or when stepping barefoot at night. Farmers and children are common victims. A sting can cause intense pain, muscle spasms and respiratory distress. In severe cases, especially in children, it can lead to heart failure and death within hours. Without rapid medical care, survival chances drop sharply. Prevention includes clearing debris around homes, shaking out clothing and bedding, and using bed nets. Countries like Tunisia and Mexico have reduced fatalities through education and anti-venom distribution. But in remote areas, limited access to medical care keeps mortality high. Each year, venomous snakes are responsible for a staggering number of human deaths, especially in rural parts of Asia and Africa. The WHO estimates 81,000 to 138,000 deaths worldwide. India alone accounts for over 45,000 of these. In South Asia, the Big Four, Indian Cobra, Common Crate, Russell's Viper and Saw-Scaled Viper cause the majority of deadly bites. In Africa, Carpet Vipers, Black Mambas, Puff Adders and various Cobras are major threats. The Saw-Scaled Viper, despite its small size, is heavily defensive and common near farms. Bites often happen when people work barefoot in fields, walk at night without a light or sleep on the ground. Snakes bite in self-defense when stepped on or disturbed. Venoms can be neurotoxic, paralyzing the nervous system, hematoxic, damaging blood and tissue, or a combination. Untreated bites can cause paralysis, respiratory failure, massive internal bleeding, kidney failure, or deadly infections. Even survivors often face lifelong consequences, from amputations to permanent disability. Antivenom is the only specific treatment. In many areas, it's scarce or too expensive. Transport to hospitals can take hours or days, and victims often turn to traditional healers first, losing critical time. Prevention focuses on wearing shoes, using flashlights, and keeping sleeping areas off the ground. Most snake species are harmless. Even venomous snakes usually bite as a last resort not out of aggression. But in rural regions with high venomous snake density and poor medical access, snake bite remains one of the most underestimated public health crises. Mosquitoes are the deadliest animals on earth. They kill up to a million people each year, not by the bite itself, but by transmitting disease. Malaria alone accounts for roughly 600,000 deaths, mostly in young children in sub-Saharan Africa. Dengue fever, yellow fever, Zika virus, chikungunya and West Nile virus add to the toll. Of over 3,500 species, only a few spread human disease, mainly Anopheles, Aedes and Culex. They thrive in warm climates, breed in stagnant water and adapt easily to human environments. Female mosquitoes bite to obtain blood for egg production and can pass deadly pathogens directly into the bloodstream. Some species bite mainly at night. Others strike at dawn and dusk. Urbanization, climate change and poor sanitation have expanded their range and increased human contact. 
Seasonal rains can trigger explosive population growth, leading to surges in disease cases. Historically, mosquito-borne diseases have shaped human history, from slowing military campaigns to influencing settlement patterns. Today, dengue outbreaks overwhelm hospitals in Asia and Latin America. Malaria remains a constant threat in Africa and parts of Asia. Even temperate countries face occasional outbreaks of West Nile and other viruses. Prevention includes insecticide-treated bed nets, spraying, removing standing water and releasing modified mosquitoes to reduce populations. Vaccines exist for yellow fever and dengue, and malaria vaccines are now emerging, though coverage is still limited. From hippos and crocodiles to scorpions, snakes and mosquitoes, one theme stands out. These animals aren't killing humans out of malice. Hippos attack when they feel threatened or blocked from the water. Crocodiles are opportunistic predators that will take a human if the chance arises. Scorpions and snakes strike when disturbed. Mosquitoes bite to feed, unknowingly passing on deadly diseases. In many parts of the world, people have no choice but to share their environment with these animals, often without access to the medical care or protection that could save lives. Yet each of them plays a vital role in the ecosystems we all depend on. Snakes control rodents. Scorpions manage insect populations. Hippos and crocodiles shape waterways. Mosquitoes, as annoying as they are, feed countless other species. They act on instinct, not hatred. And in most cases, it is we who step into their world. If we understand their behavior, respect their space and find ways to reduce conflict, coexistence is possible. They are part of the planet's balance and learning to live alongside them may be the key to keeping that balance intact. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay curious and keep exploring.